Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to do sort of a funny topic. I was actually at work the other day and we were all talking about our biggest annoyances on the job as far as like patients are concerned and it ended up being a really funny conversation. So I wanted to share some things with you here. In return, please post your experiences below because I would love to read it so I could laugh along with you. This video is sponsored by Gloves in a Bottle. If you have dry hands or eczema or you have to use hand sanitizers or surgical scrubs, you guys need this product because imagine putting lotion on and not having to put lotion on for hours and having your hands feel great. So I will talk more about that in a little bit. So let's first get right into the video. So the first situation that I find really annoying is when I walk into my patient's rooms and they start telling me every problem they have. And then I'll say something like, hey, the doctor was just here, did you tell them all of this that you're telling me? Because that's the person to tell. And then they'll say something like, you know, I just forgot. At that point, I'm looking at them smiling and thinking in my head, oh my gosh, what you're actually saying is that I need to stop what I'm doing, run, try to find the doctor, and try to convince the doctor that you just told you're completely fine all of these problems. So it can put me in kind of a funny situation. <laughs> Another thing that I find really annoying is when patients are complaining about everything under the sun except things that I'm in control over, such as the food, the TV channels, the bed, the aesthetics of the room, the pillows, like things that I just have absolutely no control over and they'll go on and on about it and I just have to sit there and nod my head. <laughs> this one goes without saying kind of, but it's the patient that's completely fine. You're looking at them in the room and they're fine. As soon as you walk into the room, they're rolling on their stomachs and screaming that they're in pain. And you're like, okay, let me go get some pain medication. So, I don't know. Pain is subjective, we all know that, but <laughs> Here's something else that's difficult is when your patient has a bathroom process that takes about 30 minutes. So they call, you get them out of the bed, you put up, set up their walker, they walk to the bathroom, you uh, let them do their business, you walk them back to the bed, they get back in the bed, they want their pillows fluffed, the bed placed in certain positions, and then while you're still in the room, they say, I have to go to the bathroom again. At that point, you think you're gonna die because you don't know if you can get through it. You can, but you just, you have like a split second thought, like, can I do this again? <laughs> now these last two might be completely specific to me because I was raised in an environment with complete silence. I was homeschooled, my dad doesn't like radio or television, so we didn't have those. But the patients that talk a lot, especially when I've asked them to, you know, they'll ask me a specific question, like, you know, what did the doctor say about this? And I'll say, okay, give me a second, let me read the, the chart. So I'm trying to read the chart, and then they ask me another question. I'm like, okay, ho hold on, I'm, I'm still trying to read. And then they're, they're quiet for two seconds. And then they'll ask me another question. And all of these questions are just building up and I just get like really stressed out. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Sometimes I really have to just walk out. Like I, act, I act like something's happening and I'm like, oh, hold on, I'll be right back. I just remember something I have to do. And then I'll go out, find the answers to all the questions and then walk back in and that's, how I deal with that. The last thing is, you know, some patients have a lot of different ways of calling you. Um, maybe they'll call you by their, your name, hey Caroline, or they'll call you hey nurse. Um, you know, some people, I've had people clap their hands at me trying to get my attention. My all time most annoying thing is people that hiss. <laughs> Where does that even come from? I, you know, I just ignore it. I'm like, you know, if you can't speak to me, then I'll just ignore it. And then when they finally give up hissing and they say, excuse me, then I'm like, oh, yeah, do you need something? <laughs> who, on earth, like who hisses? I just, I can't respond to that, I'm sorry. Okay guys, all in all, I really think that we are placed here in classroom earth to learn lessons. I, I believe that ever since I was young, we are here in a physical body, in this physical world to learn lessons. And one of the biggest lessons that I learn, or two of the biggest lessons that I learn, is patience and how to be loving in difficult situations. So for me, when I have patients that are very difficult like this, I just look at this as I need to uh, practice uh, my patience and how to be loving. And sometimes I feel like I pass that class with uh, flying colors and sometimes I'm not so proud of the way I handle the situation. But it's all about learning and progressing. So guys, remember winter is coming. 
gloves in a bottle, you've got to check them out. They also have a new product, which is Skin MD. This is for the face and body, and this one is specifically for the hands. I have used these products and I absolutely love them. They really do make your hands feel like they have lotion on all day and it uses your body's natural oils to help sustain that feeling. So if you'd like to see my full review, look in the link below. They've also given us a discount code, so also look below for that as well. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. I'll see you soon. Bye!